Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our first session of the day. Uh, you guys can see my screen, right? Confirmations. Not good. Okay, thank you. So let me start. Uh, so we this session is not going to be a long one because we're just going to have some introduction about uh, the financial indicators and uh, just to help us interpret what they mean. So uh, let's drive. So as usual, uh, if you have questions and I'm if I am moving a bit fast or slow, make sure to raise your hand or just open your mic as uh, my can speak because I can't see the, the comment sections. Okay, so financial indicators are uh, indicators that are act as a guide or a compass that guide the investors to the market uh, of investing. So the market can be a very complex and hard thing uh, analyze so these financial indicators help us uh, or guide us in the right path so they provide insights into the company's financial health and performance uh, performance and risk so uh, so by analyzing these matrices or indicators investors can access uh, assess the company's potential for growth profitability and stability and after accessing it, they can choose to invest and not invest. And um, I'm audible, right? Yes. Oh, thank you. OK. OK. And to invest and how much to invest. Uh, so they can uh, decide depending on their analysis. So uh, there are some ratios that we should consider uh, when thinking about these uh, indicators. Uh, the first is the profitability uh, ratio. So these include earning per share. So how much did a company allocate for each share uh, and uh, price per earning. So this is just price, uh, the stock price uh, divided by the earning per share. Uh, so it, it in indicates the relative valuation. So the company could be valued at uh, a certain price and it could be the earning per share could be at, at a certain price. So analyzing this ratio would help us. And the last profitability ratio is return on equity. So how effectively the company utilizes um, stakeholders uh, equity to generate profit. So how much did they invest and how much profit did the company uh, make? in the given uh, financial period. Uh, so the next one is liquidity ratio. So liquidity ratio could be uh, interpreted as uh, current ratio or uh, cash on hand. So it assesses the company's ability to meet short-term obligations uh, using current assets. So current assets are assets that can be uh, converted into cash in a very a short time or easily so liquidity with uh, having a high liquidity or high cash on hand would be profitable for the company because it could um, help it uh, meet some short-term obligations without uh, touching or having to sell the uh, the long-term assets and solvency ratio is debit to equity ratio so how uh, how is the financial leverage of the company which indicates uh, reliance on debt or reliance on equity so uh, when we come to our uh, work uh, we were given six uh, key financial indicators or key performance indicators kpis we call them so uh, the first one is cash on hand as i have already mentioned earlier uh, cash on hand could be uh, interpreted as li liquidity so it refers to the company's uh, readily available cash or cash equivalents cash equivalents means something that can be converted into cash in a very easy or very short time uh, 
and it indicates the financial flexibility or and ability to meet short-term needs without uh, like selling or going through the long-term equities uh, or assets sorry so the next one is uh, gross revenue gross revenue is the total amount of many uh, money that's uh, gained from selling good or services uh, and this is just the amount of money it doesn't include any expenses it might exclude any expenses or uh, taxes so it's just the uh, money we get or uh, we, many we receive uh, uh, from the customer when we provide the service or sell the goods so it just shows the overall uh, performance or sales performance of the company. So market capitalization is the total value of the company's outstanding shares. Uh, so how many shares have it sold uh, in the stock markets? And the calculation could be the current share price by multiplied by the number of uh, outstanding shares. So. Uh, knowing this could help us uh, to value the company, uh, the valuation to reflect on the market valuation of the company and compare how uh, it stands with respect to other uh, different size companies. So research and development or R&D uh, is research and development. So how much money uh, has it spent on that department uh, for this department is responsible for developing new products uh, services or processes so having more uh, expenditure on this research and development uh, shows the commitment of the company into innovation and future growth so many companies invest in this uh, department heavily and it's good so the next two are uh, net profit or net income so net income is just uh, the gross profits that we have uh, the gross revenue that we have discussed earlier uh, minus the expenses so it's just the amount of money left after the deducting uh, uh, expenses uh, excluding taxes including taxes yes uh, victory yes Uh, was that a question no, or? Excuse me. It was a mistake. Oh, okay. okay it was okay. a mistake. I didn't mean to. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, uh, net profit is just uh, total revenue or net revenue minus total expense, including taxes and everything. So it shows uh, profit, uh, as the name indicates. And the last is a return on equity. So how profitable uh, is a company in relation to stakeholders' equity? So how effectively the company is using the fund or the money that stakeholders are uh, investing into the company to generate profits? So um, uh, just to recap, uh, this is uh, the six uh, key financial indicators or KPIs of the final the financial sector uh, just to have a recap so having uh, a large amount of high cash on hand is both uh, is beneficiary but to a point right so if it has um, a large amount of cash on hand that's not necessary at the time it may indicate um okay yes uh, policy I, I just I just want to know regarding the KPIs. The we 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 have to define our own KPIs, or the company will define already the KPIs we need to reach each year. Or uh, okay, um, so regarding in the, the KPIs. in the challenge document, we have already uh, outlined six KPIs, right? If you have gone through it, uh, the six KPIs are cash on hand. Um, gross revenue, net profits, and so on, r and uh, and so on. So I'm just going through them and explaining what they mean and how we can ana analyze them. So you don't, uh, if you want, it's better if you uh, define them or explain them a bit and how they are 
uh, influence it, how they can influence your decision when you are re writing your report. It's not, uh, yeah. Okay, so having uh, back to the presentation, having a large sum of uh, cash on hand could also be uh, could, could also have a negative impact because it could show that the company is not using its capital uh, wisely. And the next is uh, gross revenue. So gross revenue, uh, having a large gross revenue is good, but we also need to see the net profits uh, before deciding how good the company is because we don't, uh, we cannot assess uh, just based on the gross revenue because the company could have a large number of, uh, a large amount of gross revenue, but uh, it could also incur a large amount of expense. So the net profit could be less. So we need to go through that too. So market capitalization is good uh, when it's higher and research and de de development, again, it's good when it's higher, but uh, for both cases, there is a limit. So we need to we'll see that too. So net profits, uh, the more the, the better, of course, and return on equity, of course, uh, the same, the more the better without any limitations. Yeah, so any questions? Uh, uh, so that's it from my side. So I'm going to give the floor to you guys. Any questions? Uh, the questions, I'm not going to limit the questions only to um, this session or this uh, uh, tutorial session, you can also ask anything or any um, challenge that you faced while doing the project. So the floor is yours. Thank you. Vitali, you can talk. Uh, hello, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I can. Uh, Okay, okay, thank you. Concerning the challenge and the six indicators, I would like to hear your point of view or, or your opinion uh, because the assignment for the challenge rather uh, directs us to use three indicators. Uh, so I would love to, to hear your opinion on this. Like, out of the six, uh, what would be the best three combinations that one can use? Uh, Okay, uh, so I'm I'm not going to limit you to my uh, to my recommendations, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I just I have just as I have uh, explained it, I want you to go through uh, each six parameters. I, they are not that much, and see which one uh, would be beneficial. Uh, just to I just gave you introductions and definitions. So I think, I do think that uh, that's enough for now, but if you want, for instance, the total revenue, I, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, the total revenue could be good, but you also need to look at the net profit, right? Uh, as I have mentioned earlier. So depending on that, maybe the net profit could be more beneficiary. So just do your analysis like this uh, by going through each one of them and uh, look. Um, I'm sorry, I, I think I was cut off. You can hear me, right? Hello, yeah, can okay, you hear me too, sir? No, oh, okay, okay, so, uh, okay, uh, cool. right. so you can Yeah, go. thank you. I wanted to please um clarify something. For okay. each of those um, seven magnificent companies, we're having seven companies in all, and we're expected to work with their data for the past, say, five years, from 2018 to 2023. Mm -hmm. Then we are meant to work with um, three performer, I mean, three KPIs. Now, my question is this if I'm going to compare Amazon with, um, say, Meta, for example, am I supposed to compare based on um, the KPI for each of those years or 
I don't, it gets confusing a little bit because now I have a table that's generated from Copilot that mm. I have four tables now. I'm looking at four uh, KPIs really from the list of KPIs. So I have four tables. And for each of those things, for instance, for market cap now, I have the column for year 2018 to 2022. Then I have all the seven, uh, what's it called? They are magnificent um, something. But it gets confusing. How do I really go about this analysis? Am I supposed to do it per KPI, per year, or per company? That's the question I want to ask you. Okay, uh, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, uh, there are several ways you can do it. One day that uh, one way that I would do it is, you can just, uh, for instance, you can see the trend, right? right? For for instance, uh, let's take the cash on hand for Amazon. So you have five data, right? <coughs> Sorry. So you can just plot these five data and see how it's progressing through time. Like on 2028, uh, 2018, it was this much, and like, uh, and through time, throughout the years, uh, you can show how it's growing, right? So, because we want growth in a company, so that's one way, and you can also do this for uh, all the companies uh, and compare uh, the growth rates of each company. And uh, I will be sharing the slides, of course. Uh, and I also may mention some three ratios, right? Uh, profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, and solvency ratio. So you can also perform uh, these ratios for each company and compare the ratios. And if there are uh, further uh, other ratios, you can also perform uh, analysis on these ratios. So you can calculate these ratios for each company and compare the results. Uh, am I clear? Kolajo, is that helpful? Kolajo, or, or am I not uh, audible? Yeah, how do you believe? But at some point, I'm getting, so if you can please recap that again, I will be glad. We cap which part? You you gave me two options. You said is either I check their growth pattern for each of the companies. Uh, and I not 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 or not options, but you can do them parallelly. Like they, they are not just options. You can do them parallelly, right? Yes. Yes. So you can do both. You can compare uh, how it's progressing through time, and you can also uh, perform uh, or calculate the ratios. The liquidity ratio, the profitability ratio, and the solvency ratio, or other ratios you might find, and compare the ratios. I think it's better if you compare the ratios, but to plot the charts, uh, you will use uh, time series plots, like line plot or bar plot, to show how it's progressing through time. So it's not an option, it's uh, you can do both if you want. That's what, uh, that's my recommendation. All right, that's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Um, so, any other questions? Oh, good lessons. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I think my so the training uh, main uh, purpose is to prepare us for position like project coordinator and kind of our junior project manager, right? So yes. okay. uh, my question is beyond cost, uh, are there any financial indicators that can help to assess the value of the project that it brings to the organization? I mean, uh, the project value that it brings to organization beyond cost, are there any financial indicators? Yeah, for this week, uh, we are looking at profitability, right? Like, um, so, the scenario that you have seen is you have someone with ten thousand dollars and you want to convince the, to convince to convince them uh, to invest in one company that you are yeah. going to recommend right yes. so for this task uh, i would recommend we, i would advise you to stick with this uh, financial indicators but of course there might be other indicators like the uh, 
industry indicator. There, there is just to see how the industry or the market is going because some industries might be dying and some industry might be on the rise. So you might also look into that. And if you have time, you are all also welcome to look into, the, uh, into it. But yeah, for this task, I would recommend or advise you to work on to stick with this, uh, the financial indicators. Uh, did I answer your question or? Of course, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any more questions? Okay, um, so if, if not, uh, give me some reactions and we can stop the recording. Okay, only three people. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, um, let me stop the recording and um